One, two, three. They're still married. They're still married. They're still married. Hello, my name is Zachariah with Old Man Gaming, <coughs> and I sit here before you with my lovely wife, Melissa. Hello. Welcome to the informational, educational show, Prelude to Divorce, <laughs> as we continue to show you the highs and lows of the settlers that traveled the Oregon Trail. Hi, everybody. Just a quick disclaimer. <laughs> We're playing Oregon Trail on Nintendo Switch. Now, we did a three-episode run of it at some point some time ago. Uh, you probably watched us play some other video games between now and then. Uh, but we recorded all of this at the same time. We were just having so much fun, we decided to just keep doing it. So This is still the day after Zach played our game. <laughs> oh, my for his own pleasure. Come on. By himself. And I missed out on, at least he claims, 30 minutes of experience. One section. One section. And you realize how long you've kept this going now? I know. I Just mean, via you mentioning this again? It keeps coming up in the this game. This is like, we're talking like three weeks, then three weeks on another game, then back to this. So we're talking literally like, Two and a half months from now. Six weeks is only a month and a half. So anyway, we're on leg three of five on the Oregon Trail. Uh, we're trying to get through the first one. Uh, we just love this game. We're really yeah, enjoying it's this. It's been fun. I think this is the first game that Melissa has really been like, yeah, let's play this all day and not do anything else. Uh, so, we don't have anything else to do today. No, it's, and this game is nice and relaxing. So like, it's you don't doing have to, gymnastics in the hallway. Because I feel like we could also play all day Monster Prom if we had it on Switch. Yeah. Because we could just keep going through it. Uh, all right, so let's do it. All uh, right. So back to what we we have choices. We right, yeah, we're talkie. at Fort Laramie. Let's figure out what the talkie is. A crowd haggles and argues over the price of fur and traveling supplies. Louis Stoutworth. Southworth. Oh, thank you. Southworth, I'm sorry. It's all good. You going west too? James is taking me to Oregon, despite the laws saying black folk like me can't settle there. Aww. Too bad he sold my fiddle before we left. It was the best friend I ever had. That is horrifying. Yeah, that's a great start. All right. I was hoping to raise some money by playing at forts to pay James for my freedom. I could play you a song that would set your foot tapping, that's for sure, or my name's not Louis Southworth. Well, maybe it's not. <laughs> when, when, um, when was the Emancipation Proclamation? It was after this. Was it? I, the Civil War has not been fought yet. Is that right? Yes, okay. the Civil War is mm, just before the 1900s, I believe. And this is, is it? Are yeah. you sure? And this is 1849. So, yeah, that, like the settler period had ended by the time the Civil War started. Are you sure? Or it, it, was, it, it wasn't It was that long after that. this, but it was definitely after this. Okay. Darn, I sure do miss that instrument. I asked James if I could keep it, but he needed the money for this trip, so he said. Or so he said. If the man kicks... <laughs> The man kicks at the dirt despondently. Offer to help. If you're offering to buy me a new fiddle, I won't say no, but money doesn't grow on trees, or I'd have picked myself a finer suit than this. Louis Southworth gives the party a wide grin. You buy him a fiddle? Almost about how much does a fiddle cost? I don't know. I mean, today a fiddle probably costs like $1,000. Right. I'm going to say yeah. Well, hold on now. If we're going to do this, we've got to do it right, you understand? I'm talking about putting a band together. I could even earn enough to pay you back for the cost of the fiddle. Okay. All right. There is a brother and a sister duo I saw back in Independence. They play guitar and banjo. 
and sound amazing. We'd be lucky to have them. Last I heard, they were headed to Fort Bridger. Okay, so this is tricky. Because Fort Bridger, I looked at the map, Fort Bridger is out of our way. Oh. It's an extra, like, two trips. So let me look at the map real quick. Oh, come on, show me the thing. You guys suck. That's that's annoying, and I won't let you see the map during it. But, like, Fort Bridger is an extra two stops if we go to it. Okay. I think this is a real opportunity. What do you say? Lewis Southworth looks hopeful. So we got ask about fiddle, ask about fiddle value, agree to his plan. I mean, let's ask all the questions. I've heard rumors that people often end up selling their luxury goods before crossing the mountains. You'll have to keep an eye out, maybe ask around and see if anyone's selling a fiddle. Okay. I think this is a real opportunity. Okay, ask about fiddle value. I'd say a good fiddle is worth about $30. If you pay more than that, you're getting ripped off. Okay, that's good to know. Continue. What? So we can agree to his plan and go to Bridger. Okay. Or we can uh, just hope we find a fiddle at some point. What do you think? I don't know. It's, it's like for the show, for the just the amount of like us getting through this, I kind of want to say just find a fiddle. But at the same time, he's a... He's an impoverished black man during slavery. I kind of want to help him out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I say, let's agree to his plan. All right, we'll go to Bridger. Then. This is going we to be a, a show to remember. Just you wait. I'll try to meet you again at Fort Boise. I know it's far away, but you'll need some time to get the band together, and I need to start writing some lyrics. All right, so we started a quest. Started the crowd quest. haggles. Oh, okay. All right, we don't need to talk to these guys. Don't okay. Let's try and... Uh, Do we need anything? Well, and that's what I'm... I don't think we really need anything. We might need... I mean, let's check. What's our... Yeah, what are our people look like? Well, this is... We're stocked full. Right. We've got everything we could possibly want right now. Um, our people are looking pretty good. A little low, on, like one down on hygiene for them and one down on stamina. But I mean, I'm shocked that Levi has full stamina. It's because of that stamina recipe. <coughs> the campsite like, yeah. filled them all up automatically. All right, I think let's just keep going. Um, Depart. Don't need the wagon fixed. Don't, we don't need, need health. hygiene or health. I think we can just rock on. Let's depart. Off we go. Again, a little bit of that. So you see what I mean? This is what I was looking at first. Like we hit parting of the ways, we can go two stops to Fort Hall or two stops, then a third one to Bridger. It's sexy can't go Independence Rock to Green River. Yeah, there's, just, yeah, there's no trail. Hey, chill out, kid. Still recording. All right. If we collect pelts, collect we meat. get medicine. If we collect meat, we get coffee. I don't really need either. We're doing really good right now. Yeah. So we have fish or herbal remedies. Um, let's do the herbal remedies because we don't really need we fish. fish yeah. And we can sell the herbs, right? No, we can sell the fish, not the herbs. But the herbs, I'm not sure what the herbs are used for. A wave of anxiety mingled with excitement washes over the party as they leave Fort, Marily, Fula, Fort Laramie behind. A long journey lies ahead before the next chance to resupply. You told me that you could sell the herbs. No, I can sell the fish. I swear, like two stops ago, you told me you could sell herbs. No, fish. Because I chose to go a different way than the herbs. Because I wanted to make sure we could hunt. Right, right. We could sell fish and, like, I think if you watch it back, you understand what I'm saying. Like, we could, it was a challenge to get herbs to get money. Okay. But we were like, we could just sell that for the money that we would get. I gotcha. I gotcha. 
So discard. I thought we already discarded the flower. I thought we did too, but... Oh, it's because we got some flowers. The wagon jostles the unsmooth movement of the ox and pulls it across the ever-changing ground. Jesus, what happened to it? Holy Ooh. Lord. Oh, we're about to use all our toolboxes. So that's great. Damn, that's a lot of damage, son. I don't even have enough toolboxes to fix it all. There's two so Yeah, two, you fixed it. Nope, there's two spots exposed. That one. Oh shoot. And that one. <sighs> like we can still put stuff in though. Because it's not damaged in a way that they'll drop out. But we can't um but they are exposed, so the bait might go bad. The bullets might go bad. Can we replace the bullets? Yeah, I think so. So they're not over that spot? Yeah, let's do this. Is there, like... Let's flip this guy from up here. Yeah. And then let's move these bullets. Inventory management, that's what they come here for. Oh, that's what I wanted. Little all over the place, but let's move the bait since we got a spot anyway. Yeah. Like it's a little all over the place, but at least we don't have anything in the exposed spots. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Ugh, I don't like that it just said, like, we got a ways to go, but without any supplies, and then we lose all our toolboxes. Yeah, we used, every, we used five of them. The party is waved down by a young woman by the side of the trail. She looks to be in rather desperate, in a rather desperate situation. Please stop. We're in need of your help, the woman calls out to the party. Now what's the use in that, Alice? They're just going to ignore us like the last lot, or worse. How many caravans has it been now? Nobody wants anything to do with us. I still have faith, Joseph. There are good people on this trail. I know someone will help us. Please, travelers, we've run desperately low on food. We have gone hungry night after night. You must help us. Give them those nasty cracker crackers. The pair certainly look hungry, but the party has to consider their own situation. Only so let us choose. And just let us like. Oh, I don't want to. Thirty food. Still have one hundred and five food. I think I think we give it to him. Okay. Party offers but little food they can spare from their own supplies. Keep them meat. Oh, thank you. You don't know how much this means to us. See, Joseph, didn't I tell you someone would help? All right, I can admit when I'm wrong. Thanks, strangers. It's just hard to trust people even this far west. I have to protect my family, make sure they stay free. It's a responsibility I don't take lightly. Might come back to help. You know what I think you know? is funny? Hmm. We have three black oh. people in our thing. Mm -hmm. But if black yeah, people are that still was enslaved. Weird. Yeah. I think maybe we should drop back to me. Yeah. For now. Party spies a small thicket of shrubs, each covered with small red berries. If gathered, they have medicinal properties that may prove useful. Definitely going to harvest. Berries are delicate and infamously difficult to harvest. It takes an experienced explorer. Grace, Which right? I, oh, yeah, Grace is Grace better. Grace got the four. She, she, she's better when she doesn't have a broken bone. Yes. Hopefully she doesn't find another small dead child under him. Right. As Grace, she oh, she notices a handful of old unfired bullets lying beneath the nice. Did you just ask the dog to pick up your toy for you? Yeah. Not going to happen. And if she does, you're not going to want the result. Grace gathers as many of the bullets as she deems salvageable. 
Grace harvests a moderate number of berries, though she crushes a few in the process. She carries a handful back to the wagon. So we got berries and bullets out of that. All right, All right. So, what is this? Dragoon uh, sighting. There have been reports of a member of the Oregon Dragoons. Yeah, remember they're the, they're those dragoon people. That's why we have the medallion. They're that group. Oh yeah, yeah. Of military people we're trying to bring back together. So we can either do that or we can go to the mystery one. Oh wait, aren't we trying to go to um, bridge? Uh, we gotta get to we gotta get to the parting of the ways first. That's after Independence Rock. Okay. So it doesn't matter how we get to Independence Rock. It's just I say one. we go. Um, I say we go... Your boon setting on the upside, yeah. too, when we get the meat. Yeah, let's go question mark, meat, dragoons, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. We're doing all right on our stats. I'm so thirsty. Party's water supply is run low. If it's not refilled before too long, dehydration and death may be the results. What? I mean, we don't have a stat for that. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. A small pond can be seen just off the trail. A few mosquito larvae swimming lazily on the surface. Without restocking the water supply, the party's morale and stamina are sure to <coughs> decline. Should it be? Well, of course. I mean, why wouldn't we replenish? Because we're about to drink a bunch of mosquito larvae. The water is cloudy and foul tasting, but thirsty quenching nonetheless. The party suffers no ill effects from the influence. Yes. Although they all drop to hygiene. Because they all shit themselves. <laughs> it's that Taco Bell water. Mormon Trail. Journal entry on Hunting is ideally suited to those who have spent time oh, yes. in the wilderness, requiring keen shooting skill, ability to track prey through challenging environments. Who should hunt? I guess, Levi? Examines the hunting ground ahead of him. It seems like you'll be able to Grace find did it. better than Levi, honestly. Oh, did she? Mm-hmm. They've got the same shooting, but Levi tends to be low on the stamina. That's true. I mean, really, it's down to me, and I shoot like a lunatic, so. See? Bye. Got that one. You are awful. Me? No, your dad. Jesus, babe. Yeah. Ooh, get the bison. Come on, man. Got him, I got him. I know. <laughs> 15 bullets. For like two foxes and a buffalo. I used nine bullets for 150 pounds Levi with Grace. carries 80 pounds of meat. He can spend some time skinning. Yes, obtain pelts. If I manage to should. obtain pelts, though without a knife, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. All right, so we're going towards the hunting ground? Yeah. So that was a coyote hunting ground. Then that's a deer hunting ground. Yeah, and maybe we'll pick Grace. I mean, we've collected meat now, and we collected pelts. Why don't we go to the question mark, see what it is, and we can still go to the dragoon. Okay. Travel here. Wagon is wearing a fuck. Yo. Now we're in trouble. Because we're starting to run out of space for things. Oh, I can move the fish. Move the fish traps. Yeah. Move the other fish trap where that one was. 
And then turn the fish sideways. No, oh, no, that won't work. <clears throat> Shoot. We have to put some stuff back in the exposed. Why don't we? Why don't you put the smaller <coughs> bait in the exposed? And why don't we put the hard tack in the exposed? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Because nobody likes that anyway. We'll put the coffee up where the hard tack was, the new coffee. We could get rid of the one fish trap. Yeah. We still have three. And we don't really need them right now, is the thing. Yeah. Because we've got enough meat. We don't need to fish or hunt at this particular juncture. I, mean, I don't want to get rid of the pelts because we need pelts because we're going to have to river cross at some right. point in this leg. So put the... Why don't we put the fish, these fish traps up? Right? Yeah. Then we've got room for this fish right there. We put the coffee. And then we put the coffee at one... In like, oh, no, 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 no. I guess we could just use it. No. Let's turn that down. Stella. Turn that down. Give me a headache. My eyes bleed, man. You could put the hard tack back if you want. There. Lose a fish trap. It's yeah. Fine. Moving on. I lost some stamina. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to use that coffee soon, I think. Yeah. What's this? What's this? More berries. More berries. A bright cluster of berry bushes surrounds a nearby rock, a stark contrast with the dusty brown of the trail. Berries are not readily identifiable and may be unsafe. If they are indeed edible, however, they might make a fine supplement for dried rations. I, I see we got enough food. Let's just move. Yeah, let's keep going. Uh, let's it. Party moves on, deciding it will be best not to take the food. Grace didn't like that, man. The way you were tasting that. <laughs> taste. Want us some berries? Okay, Ooh, we're done. we need to close. Hygiene again. We need to do the close. Uh, Why don't we wait until after they hunt? Because doesn't hunting give them... We're not going to hunt. We're skipping the hunting. We already got meat at the first hunting. Okay. I'm okay. going to the Dragoon next. Okay. Sorry. I mean, we can still wait if you want to try and get to the fort. Because we've only got two spots. That's your call. Uh, so everybody's down to three. Iris at four. It's your call. We can keep it at three and then try I and say get if we it. go down any lower than three, we change okay. the clothes. All right. Are they stanky. They stanky. Hunting is readily suited to the... See, I knew we were about to hunt again. Let's push on. Let's skip it. Got 137 pounds of meat. We don't have any room for any more pelts or food. We got 10 pelts. I guess they skip it, man. Not okay. waste the stamina. Party pushes on past the head. Oh, it was a question mark. Remember? This See, was the but we've mark. only made 80 of the 100 pounds of the meat collected to get... Oh, coffee. I thought we had gotten enough out of the first one. Well, now I feel stupid. We're okay. still getting the medicine. So that's a bison hunt. Is what that, that unlocked mm. for us. On we go, walking on. Morale drop, stamina drop. Oh, ho oh, there, travelers. Welcome, travelers. Step right up and play our game. <clears throat> my brother and I will shuffle ourselves around when we stop to see if you can pick me up. My brothers. So there's triplets. Choose correctly, and all manner of rewards are yours to keep. How about you wager $10? That seems fair for a play. What do you say? It's a scam. Let's move. I want to play. 
Excellent. Now let's play. When, say when you are ready. I am in the middle. Follow um, me. Middle. Okay. You've got me a sterling effort. Here's your reward. I hope we see you. Oh, flower, yeah, money, and coffee. We don't have enough room for that flower. We have to discard it. <laughs> this. Uh, let's just discard because we yeah. got food. Uh, Stella, Stella, I don't want to look at it right now. Uh, cartoon cat, got it. See, I'm good at those. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure, like, if I went I mean, to, like... If you did it in New York... New they, York City, they, I mean, they'd take all my money. But in video games, I'm usually pretty good at it. Because it's never in the place. They, right. they palm it. Who the devil are you? Why are you interrupting me? Oh, wait. You're those travelers. The captain's got rounding us up, aren't you? Chauncey. Tell you what. I can't leave here until we finish this performance of Robert's Birds... Robert Birds, the gladiator. But our leading man has abandoned us. If one of you were to step in and play the role of Spartacus, I may be persuaded to rejoin the brigade. Who's playing Spartacus? I have no idea. You get to pick. <laughs> Lulu. Lulu? Lulu. Excellent. Now I have a copy of the script here. You'll be playing the role of Spartacus. And he'd only remember his lines and actions. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's review this script. Very well. Review the script. You need only remember a select few lines and the rest will come naturally. Firstly, Brachius will speak some lines and Lentulus will ask Spartacus, that's you, to speak up. You must ask, is it a thousand leagues away to Thrace? Dude, dude, there is no one here, bro. You're, you're alone in a field, in a desert, on like an impromptu stage with no one. Who are we doing this for, you lunatic? Just give this guy some water. He's hallucinating. <laughs> There's obviously a problem. Our next major scene takes place after Spartacus, again, that's you, has beaten the Crixus in battle. Floris will praise Spartacus for his skill, who replies thusly, Great degradation, no matter. I am sworn to be a caitiff. Where have you placed my wife? It was conditioned. You should not part us. What? Keeping up so far? I know it's a lot to take in, but when the fires of passion overtake you on the stage, it'll all come flat. There's no one here. Are you doing this for the okay, flowers? Okay, stop. I feel like we're going to have to remember. We're definitely going to remember. Next is the big slave uprising, and Spartacus is called, he says to the black woman, and Spartacus <laughs> is called to the action. Here he cries, Ho, slaves, arise! It is your hour to kill. Kill and spare not for wrath and liberty. Freedom for bondmen. Freedom and revenge. Okay, we're nearly done. Bear with me. I know it's a lot to take in. But that's the difficulty of theater. Theater. Next is the big fight scene with Lentulus, Spartacus' former captor. Remembering your lines isn't so vital here. The actor playing Lentulus is an incredibly skilled swordsman. All you need to do is hold out against his dazzling assault and make the fight look convincing. Finally, Spartacus, that's you, don't forget, has defeated Cassius, Crassius, and stands above him while Julia pleads for his life. Spartacus states thusly, Well, never heed the tempest. There are green valleys in our mountains yet. Set forth the sails. will be there in Thrace anon. That's about the gist of it. Remember those key lines and the rest will come next. Sure, time. five, five. Okay, got it. Very well, let the show begin. There's no one here. Give this guy some medicine and some water. A Hercules, a Mars, what thou rogue? Why dost thou droop thus? Why are thou so sullen and obstinate? No words? What, <coughs> what, can, what canst thou not speak? Fetch me a scourge hither. I'll f 
find thee a tongue. Come, Sarah, look up, speak, show thyself. Is it a thousand leagues away to three? It's Thrace. Yeah. Is it a thousand leagues away to Thrace? Next. What, thou fool, wilt thou always be harping on Thrace? Tis so far away, thou wilt never see it more. That's it? I think that's the first act. Now I move to Zion. You have played well and beaten Syrix fairly. Carry this skillfulness to the arena. And you shall win great honor. Great degradation, no matter. I'm sworn to be a caitiff. Where have you placed my wife? It's wife. Where have you placed my wife? It was conditioned. You should not part us. She is logged hard by after the con. Lodged. Lodged. <laughs> Got that hard logging. <laughs> After the combat, just name the episode. You shall see it. Hard long. Is it okay if I have some chocolate Some what? Chocolate. Sure, go for it. After the combat, you should see it. We're getting claps. We're still getting claps. The third one was just fight, right? Not an instant. What shall our shows wait on the time and pleasure of our base bondsmen? Sound the trumpets there. What treachery. Ho, call in the soldiers. I think this is the one where we just have to fight, right? I'm not sure. Freedom for gladiators. Death to all their masters. Treachery. Death to the Roman fiends that make their mirth out of the groans Freedom of the bleeding misery. Ho, slaves. Freedom and revenge. So, Sorry, I couldn't wait because you only have so I much know, time. I know, I'm getting distracted by her thing. Turn it down. Definitely turn it down. You're too close to the mic. All right. Now we just got to look like we fight. Lo, the bloody chief. Now yield thee, villain. Murder, spotted fiend. Thou lets the band that slew my wife and boy. Kill, kill, kill all. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of killing. I dropped in there. Fight back. Fight back. Ha ha! Huzzah, villain! Ha! Victory, Cassis, now, thy, now thou diest. I know <laughs> thee very well. Romans are straws, no prisoners, not but blood. Why should there be night now? Oh, dear uncle, strike not. Let him be spared. He gave me life. Alas, he dies. He dies. Well, never heed the tempest. There are green valleys in our mountains that forth the sails will not be in three to none. I couldn't remember. I honestly couldn't remember that one. I love how Oregon, Oregon Anon was one. <laughs> Phenomenal performance. Yay. Truly astonishing. The crowd tipped us like never before. And I'd like you to have some of the proceeds. Yay. Yeah. Can't believe we had a crowd. Where did they come from? I know. We're in the middle of the desert. Do any of them have toolboxes? <laughs> Can we trade with them? Very well. A deal's a deal. After all, I'll go ahead to Independence Rock and try to meet up with the captain. I'm sure I'll see you again. Yay, we got Farewell, it. Chauncey. Chauncey. Um, that? What? The wagon is what? Son of a bitch. Why don't we just drink the coffee? One more coffee. One more chocolate. You can have one more chocolate. Well, this is the last Don't one. you discard. I didn't just do discard. Yeah. She was distracting me. We can move it in, but this they actually the kind of need it. This you know what? We're only one. 20 miles from the city, though. Like, do you think they can make it on what they're at? Yeah, I think they can definitely make it on what they're at. Like, we're only 20 miles yeah, from the city. Yeah, just put it back in the car. Let's just put it back in the car be done. Hopefully, uh, Independence Rock has services. Yeah. I'm praying for services. We definitely services. have money. Yeah, we've got tons of money. We just haven't hit services. 
four hundred and thirty four dollars. When everything was fine, and then it broke like two four hundred dollars in my checking account. I get paid on the fifteenth, and I'm like, is that enough money? <laughs> The wagon's back wheel catches in one of the trail's myriad of ruts. It sticks and jams fast. It will move no further. Shit. Biceps, ho! As things stand, pushing the wagon free will strain the party, or worse, one might unpack its cargo to lighten it first, which would be tolerably safer. But the more cargo is unloaded, the longer the process will take. What should they do? What do you want to do? Um, so like we can unload it all, then repack it once we get it free. We've got to unload it. I'd say unpack all. Two days lost. Fuck. Minus 24 meat. Cargo is repacked. Wagon continues its journey. So we went the safe route, but we're hurting. Six, well, we were six miles away from the city, too. It didn't use anybody's stamina. I'm surprised by that, actually. Yeah. It probably would have used more of it if we didn't unpack it. You would think it would have used more because we took the... Like, that's so much more work. You would think, but it's the pushing, I think. Yeah. Like, pushing all of it out. All right. We need to get our... Look at how shabby the wagon looks. We need to end this episode. What do we need to do? You gotta go party? No, we're at 35 minutes. Oh. Uh -huh. So let's get into Independence Rock. We'll end the episode and then we'll do the services on the next one. That was fun. Being Spartacus. That was interesting. That was an interesting mini game. All right, we finally reached Independence Rock. Independence Rock, a foreboding, sprawling monolith stretching hundreds of feet into the air. What's that one dude doing up there, man? I don't know. The rock is smooth, barring, of course, the carved names and initials of previous I'm travelers. Some among the party may take some satisfaction in doing similarly. We got the medicine. No, st no store services. Things get rough next episode, Shit. ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we can trade for uh, toolboxes. Yeah, we're, uh, we'll be back next week. Uh, you can contact us on Facebook at OmegaMeVH, on Twitter at OmegaMe9. You can join our Discord. Link's in the description below. Influence us and all of our shows from there. Thanks, keep watching, listen. We'll keep making them. We'll see you next time. Bye.